Hmm. So what's the deal with this area? Uh, going down, going up. Is that the crystal that I need to touch? Maybe? Well, before I do that, I'm gonna try and go down. Whoop! Enemy is here! Are, are these, uh, aren't these like, uh... Oh, whatchamacallum? These are, uh, not Utec uh, soldiers. These are, uh... These are Yuryev's own, uh, forces. I that down. Uh, and they're the same, viewers. Yuryev soldier A and B. We've seen these guys before. I mean... Should I showcase them? Um, might as well. Actually, that's kind of good because I'm not gonna deal with the anti uh, with anti crystallization, just like before. Misty. What does this do again? I forgot. I'm not going to be able to use uh, other skills, or oh, then this guy is definitely problematic. Definitely need to deal with him as fast as possible. Uh, should I... Remove that effect? Might as well. Goddamn sniper rifle. Oh. Ah, this guy got the buffs. This guy got the buffs. Oh, uh, no, sir. Requiem. Alright. Maybe I should. Maybe I should analyze them. I'm out of uh, analyzing balls, which uh, I definitely need these. Definitely need these for uh, when I'm fighting people on using uh, uh, using uh, the uh, mechs, or using the ES crafts. This guy, I can steal Midkit L from this guy. This is uh, this is interesting. You don't have the ability to analyze people, right? Uh, uh, it's only Xion that does that. that they, they don't even they don't even uh, drop a lot of uh, give a lot of experience with they do give a lot of money though and uh, we got chalk absorbent shirt I don't think we ever got back we have e attack upgrade what like can we have a we someone dropped a permanent other attack upgrade are we? I mean, these kind of items definitely seems like these are items that are gonna drop in late, uh, a late ages of the game. So, uh, are we? Are we gonna finish finish the game soon? I, as I said, if we are, if we're going to finish the game. Uh, uh, soon, viewers, I'm definitely gonna be disappointed. Uh, shock absorbent shirt. Uh, is it actually gonna be good? Um, it increases your vitality by a lot and increases the 
the break limit by a lot too, but uh Funnily enough, it decreases your strength for by uh, by six points, which is uh, gotta be honest, it's a lot. And other defense as well, which I, I don't really care about other defense. Uh, sure, sure. Why the hell not? Why the hell not? But yeah, like other attack upgrade at this point in the game viewers we might have actually somehow nearing the end of the game hopefully the game is gonna have, there's a lot of explaining that name the game is uh, need to be uh, giving me that's for sure oh, i hope it's gonna it's, the game is gonna explain some stuff for me before it concludes i really really hope so all righty uh, so, uh, go ahead and do uh, some reading before we continue on. Mm. Locations. Sakura's house. Huh. Interesting. A visualization of how Sakura imagines her home. Of how Sakura imagines her home. The encephalon created within Sakura's subconscious domain, a visualization of the warm home in her mind. Created within Sakura's subconscious. I mean, there is. I think they mean the space. By, you know, the encephalon created within Sakura's subconscious. Like, they created space inside her subconscious, but I don't, I don't think that's what they mean. It was used as a, a, as a place to carry out two RTV mental link experiments, as well as to trick Sakura. Strange. Junior first met Sakura here. For Sakura, it was the first time she had ever met anyone who could understand her words. Yeah, pretty much. Just uh, making sure of things. <laughs> Just making uh, sure of things that I'm understanding. Uh, I'm still understanding what this game is, <laughs> is telling me. Acute neurosis treatment facility. Control facility that gathered uh, subjects who could contact Udo. Yeah, this is where the... Uh, uh, this is, uh, you know, it is uh, the same... Uh, yeah, Labyrinthos. This is Labyrinthos. The medical facility where uh, Aoi Uzuki, Shion's mother, was hospitalized in a in a vegetative 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 state, instead of performing normal <laughs> medical treatments, uh, it used cutting-edge technology to administer nano machine experimental treatments and so forth. Nano machines, huh? Well, it, it was pr uh, it has proven that she w was never sick. In truth, it was part of the Labyrinthus facility, headquarters of the Utech organization. It collected subjects uh, who could contact Udu in order to conduct link experiments within the vessel of Anima and the Zohar. Aoi Uzuki was amongst the test subjects. During her experiments, Fibronia was used as part of the system. Uh, how the hell did they use Fibronia, though? I don't remember how they used her. During the Milchian conflict, like, in terms of, uh, in, uh, in uh, relation to the Udu, uh, uh, tests at the very least. Maybe I'm missing something here. It's, uh, it's definitely has something to do with the realians. This is something that she said. Um, uh, which is still uh, a little bit cryptic and uh, confusing that uh, uh, the key to saving the world like f like uh, free uh, the realians from suffering which has something to do with the you know uh, 
with the, the existence of realians. Uh, and of course, the existence of uh, the existence uh, of realians within uh, you know, in relation to their existence so with Udo, like uh, people did something terrible by <laughs> by creating these realians, which I guess I think I kind of have an idea here. Uh, I'm gonna say what it is after I finish this. Uh, I, after I finish my, uh, this uh, reading, uh, session. During the Melchian conflict, an eight-year-old Xi'an saw her parents killed before her eyes in one of the facilities, uh, in one of the facilities' hospital rooms. The experience was so traumatic for her that she later repressed her memories of it. Is that real? Is that really common? First and foremost, is that even real? Like I've never, never heard of that. Like something, someone gets uh, so traumatized that he actually locks up some sort of a a memory to never actually remember it. Momentarily, yeah, maybe, but for for years and years, and for in in in, in Xion's case, like decades. I, I don't know. It doesn't seem. It doesn't seem realistic to me. Damarang, a fury orbiting colony and the base of Victor Industries. It's actually the base of Victor Industries, huh? Holy hell. A free orbiting colony that serve serves as Victor Industries' main headquarters. It is so large, a thousand kilometers in length. Holy hell, a thousand kilometers? That's an actual... <sighs> Wow, that's almost like an artificial planet. Yeah, Does, doesn't that make it like even bigger than the moon? Uh, how big is the moon, or, or the uh, you know the uh the uh what do you call it circumference? No. Uh, no, it's not circumference. It's, uh... Uh, the, um... W the radius... Uh, of the moon from the, uh... Well, I guess it's ca uh, you, ca you can call it even... Sir. It's, no, 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 it's not circum circumference for the circle. It's not for a sphere. Uh, but, yeah, how big is the moon? <laughs> how big is the moon? I was about to do, to do some math, but uh, uh, yeah, that's a lot. Hundred kilometers—that's a lot. Like for if we're just seeing this and checking the center of this, uh, like uh, five hundred, uh, five hundred from uh, the center, and the other uh, side is gonna be five hundred kilometers. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's a big ass ship. That's a big ass ship. There's a lot of people uh, on it too. The uh, nerve center of the entire group and its uh, affiliated businesses is gathered on this colony. Xion's living quarters, as well as the first R&D division where she was stationed, were also here. She used to live here? She used to live here? The office where Victor CEO Wilhelm con uh, converses with the, t uh, with the testaments is laid out in the upper block of the Domerang. The Domerang is categorized as a colony, but its uh, mobility and firepower far outclasses even the military's large battleships. When the Kukai Foundation was in danger after being surrounded by Gnosis, it appeared before Xi'an uh, with three allied ships. With those ships, it launched the powerful uh, Rhine Maiden, a particular uh, noteworthy part of its power. Rhine Maiden? I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't remember that. Maybe I'm gonna check it. The music, t the music of uh, Wagner is always playing in Wilhelm's uh, office. That, combined with the name Rhine Maiden, gives uh, uh, one a good idea of his tastes. Rhine Maiden? I'm not familiar with the name. Rhine Maiden. 
A Victor developed specialized anti-gnosis weapon installed on board of the Domerang as well as the three Woglende class cruisers, Wilgonde and Flob Flobhild? Flobhild? What's that lure? Is that a bee? <laughs> Is that a bee? And the Woglende 2. There's a Woglende 2? When these ships uh, attack in union, and in unison, sorry, the power of the weapon is uh, showcased to its fullest. Huh. The ship Woglende was most likely loaned to the Federation Army in order to collect data regarding the Rhine Maiden. I don't think we've seen any of these ships before. Weapons. Victor developed specialized antagonosis weapon. I don't, I don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember. Yeah, well, we haven't uh, read about any of these. We might actually have to go through these later. Uh, enough reading for uh, now, though. I definitely read uh, much, much more than I usually do. Yeah, let's go ahead and continue on. Let's go ahead and continue with the boring part. <laughs> boring part of the game. <laughs> the actual gameplay. Looks fun. Let's do it. I really don't know if this is uh, actually a new enemy or not. It definitely seems that it looks like one. Uh, I might actually go back and backtrack, by the way, backtrack and uh, get myself some uh, analyzing uh, uh, balls. Where's the bee? Right, sorry. Come on. Uh, new enemy, I guess, viewers. AG03SPX. I think he's a new enemy. Holy... Go back to your own yeah, it's an overkill, I know. I know, it's an overkill. Get drive. Uh, that's not enough, you're still in, uh, death range, Momo. You're still in death range. Blue star as a rare drop. And their core as a normal drop? Yeah, this money is not a big problem. At the very end of it. <laughs> At the very beginning of it, uh, you, I'm not gonna say it's uh, problematic, but see, you definitely have to grind for money. Uh, not that you actually needed it. I'm not gonna say that this game is grindy. Uh, I think I need you over the 1800, thre 1800 threshold there. Normal. Just to be safe. Because, yeah, this guy can, can definitely crit, crit you and kill you. Shima! You're so in death range. Yeah, if he crits you, you're dead. Ice. Ice to see you. I stopped attacking uh, Momo for once. Mm. And now he's punching Plasma Fist. Mind down. Interesting. Go back to your own world. Go on. Right. 
that attack didn't do much damage. Maybe the uh, buff wore off. I don't think she guarded that. Yeah, nothing out of the ordinary that we need to do here, viewers. <laughs> Other than, you know, attacking him normally. Uh, shock absorbent shirt again. So this path here leads to nowhere. Even though I can see a crystal at the bottom. Interesting. Then that's not definitely not a reflection. So uh, the path might actually extend downwards later on. <sighs> yeah, this is a uh, like uh, we're heading back here, but uh, I thought I might uh, just uh, go back a little bit, just so I can uh, get myself some uh, analyze balls. Mm -hmm. I bought a lot of uh, these anti-crystals and I haven't uh, I've only used uh, two of them. <laughs> the traps? No, I don't, I don't think I need traps. I'm good. Uh... Again. Now we're gonna head up. But, uh, hmm. I can immediately interact with this. Maybe this is gonna cut it or something. I don't know. I'm gonna continue going up and see what we have here. Hmm. I don't know. Something telling me that this uh, we're uh, we're gonna have to do something that that uh, will allow us to interact with this section later. Are we inside an ear? I don't know. This little looks uh, to me like a like an eardrum. Yeah, I've seen pictures of how. <laughs> Of how e drum uh, looks. Oh, okay. So the pillar rises if I shoot the crystal. Shoot crystal. Well, I guess we're not gonna interact with that. Shoot crystal. Other crystal appears. Monkey see, monkey do. Oh, this guy got got in again. Come on, show me your butt. Show me your ass. Okay, viewers. So Junior leveled up, and he learned a new special uh, skill or a special attack: Red Dragon. Already at level three. Interesting. Large fire other attack plus soul for higher power. Interesting. Oh, we got uh, like a skill for Xion, right? What was it? MS2. Large fire attack. Maybe I'm gonna try and s see this. It's a s it's for single, huh? Large fire attack. Oh, yeah, interesting. You know, d seeing the description of it like being large fire attack. 
thought it might actually be, uh, you know, thought it might actually be, uh, like a group attack. Uh, so, what, do I ne actually need to be quick? I need to shoot the crystal and then go down really quickly? Is that, is that how it is? Well, I guess that's the case. Ah, uh, I get it. I need to keep continue. Up. The highest that I can get. I think that's the highest I can get. Now I have to go down, going down. Uh, I don't think this is gonna be fast enough for me, though, right? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> that worked. Oh, nice challenge there, game, I guess. Okay. Which one is the right one? Which one is the path that's gonna make us advance? Don't underestimate me. So, hmm. Is this a new enemy? VX9000K. Uh, probably. Might as well showcase the, this battle. Chemo! Holy crit. Ah, oh, son of a bitch, offensive. This guy has two swords as well. Uh, what kind of action that he can seal boost? Oh, okay. I cannot seal boost. Sure, what ifs? What ifs? That stupid ass. Mm. You cannot kill this guy yet. Can you analyze? You can analyze. Let's go ahead and analyze this enemy. Green Star as a rare drop. Damn he. Definitely uh, have more health than that other. That other. Uh, Holy hell. It's actually a lot of damage. He did boost. Left hand sword. Uh, this should kill him, right? Might as well try and use. Oh, I need uh, three boosts. Shit. <laughs> Shit. I need three boosts. Should I uh, wait for the uh, third boost to check it out? Yeah, might as well. Might as well. Check on uh, 
MS2. Shion's new uh, special attack. <laughs> Damn, there. Uh, she uh, dislocated her shoulder. <laughs> It didn't do that much damage, though. <laughs> only a less, like only less than two thousand damage. That's not a lot. That's kind of that's kind of ass for a level three. I mean, maybe it's gonna be a better once I level it up. Son of a bitch. Yeah, that attack in particular does a lot of great damage. Hmm. It's really not that big of a deal. Uh, hmm. It is uh, weird that the Hilbert effect actually also affects uh, mechanical enemies, but mm. I guess they had to use it in this game because, uh, gotta be honest, we haven't met with a lot of Gnosis enemies, Gnosis enemy types in this game. Unlike the first one. Uh, would I not do it? Yeah, I'm on his way. Kind of did a lot of damage to Junior. Surprisingly. Uh, he. Oh, he, um. Uh, is susceptible to fire. Might as well, uh. To another level three, radiant heat. That's a new attack. Uh, mm, uh, that that wasn't that bad actually. That wasn't that bad. He's gonna kick your ass. Please kill. MS2. Oh, 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 okay. That's a that's a lot of damage. No, that's a lot of damage. Yet. Yeah. yeah, another uh, other attack upgrade, viewers. Holy. Holy. I would. Definitely be disappointed, viewers, if if the game is gonna conclude itself immediately like uh, this without us, the, like uh, without uh, the game explaining it, explaining itself. I mean, they they'll never do that, right? They'll never do that. I really hope so. <laughs> I really hope so. So that's no shortcut, huh? Alright, let's uh, get down. Get down. Get down. Not a big fan of this section of the game, viewers. <laughs> I am not a big fan of this section of the game. No story, Bob. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Not son of a bitch. Don't underestimate me. 
Oh, I'm not gonna do that. I should have uh, cleared the path, I guess. Back. Oh, continue moving. Yeah, I was about to say that uh, I actually managed to use uh, Junior's uh, new skill, the Dr Red Dragon. Uh, but is it actually an area of effect attack? It didn't do... Yeah, it, that made sense why it didn't do uh, as much. Oh, well, I guess... I came here too early, huh? Well, I guess I'll have to wait uh, a little bit. Or I can use the turbo mode. Holy hell, you actually have to wait for that long? Can I not interact with this and lower it? Oh, I like, to, I like the, the, uh, the effect on the water here. Let's uh, move uh, this along a little bit. Yeah, would you call this uh, effect spiraling water? Water rings? Take that! Do I want to go here? I don't want to guess. Oh, <laughs> uh, if we go here, we're gonna meet with the. Uh, we're gonna go immediately and face the boss. Yeah, let's not do that uh, at the moment. Let's try and uh, check on the uh, the other the other path. Oh, it's gonna stop here? Uh, thank God. We don't actually have to do that again. Alright, let's uh, move this along. Let's move this along. Uh, these uh, dungeons are definitely not that fun. Gotta be honest with you viewers. Uh, this uh, pillar over there is... Uh, definitely... Uh, lighting up. Just gonna come come here to check if there's uh, uh, like a treasure chest. No treasure chests in this, in this section. Uh, I don't think I need to go up there any further. Gotta go past. Uh, speaking of uh, go, trying to go fast, oh, I don't think that was enough. Uh, yeah, that wasn't uh, enough. <laughs> gotta go faster. Uh, speaking of gotta go fast, uh, there's an, a Sonic game that got released. Sonic Frontier. Was it called Frontier? That's Sonic game. Dude. Uh, I, don't know. I don't know. Don't expect me to play uh, these 3D Sonic games. Actually, there is one Sonic game that I might play. I don't know if I'm gonna uh, record a playthrough of it. I don't think so. I don't think... Uh, a stream it, maybe. Uh, Sonic in the Lost World, I think it was called. Maybe. I'm interested in that one. At least in, uh, when it comes to 3D Sonic games. For the 2D ones, I'm I still I'm still interested in uh, what you call it. Yes. I'm still interested in uh, Sonic uh, the Hedgehog 4. I still haven't finished that. Ooh, I'm gonna assume that one over there is gonna hide uh, a segment address. Alright, we managed to clear all, all of these enemies from, uh, from this section. No treasure chests, huh? Well, I guess the uh, only thing that we can find here is uh, Sigma Adders? Yes, sir. It's gonna be a golden door, too. At least that looks golden to me. Decoda Sigma Adders number two. It should contain. G Ignis 3, an ES generator.
Maximum EN 990. I'll definitely give this to Jin. Uh, no doubt about it. It is weird. It is weird that an item like this well, are gonna be like uh, exclusive. Uh, you know, exclusively uh, found in the, in the segment address. Is it gonna be rare? We're not gonna be able to extend our our energy bar more than that. Well, that kind of that would definitely suck. Uh, why am I still controlling? Why the hell are you consider considered a leader? I'm gonna pick, uh... Actually, did... Is it me, or did she actually feel... I think she, yeah, I think she's faster. Well, never mind, if you're faster, then yeah. You're actually of good use, so I'm gonna keep you. <laughs> if that's the case. I'm gonna keep you, if that's the case. Uh. Anywho, viewers, up next. Boss fight? Maybe, question mark? <laughs> 